The Ecuador Open is the first clay court tournament of the ATP World Tour season, and also the opening leg of the five tournaments run through Latin America, named the Golden Swing. In 2015, Quito saw veteran Victor Estrella Burgos win his first ATP World Tour title. At the inaugural staging of the event, a special occasion for the man from the Dominican Republic who triumphed in an epic three-set final. I feel like so many things from last year is very good memory from last time I was here in the club. I get so many uh, memory in my mind. See, um, like I start thinking what I do after winning, what I'm talking last year. I remember I was very happy in this moment. Last year's beaten finalist, Feliciano Lopez, is back again in 2016 and feeling confident that he can go one step further this time around. Last year was a great year for me here. Now it was the first time playing in, uh, in the altitude. It was a tough week, I have to say. A uh, couple of tough matches and yeah, very sad that I lost in the finals uh, against Victor. You know, I was very close. I hope I can win this match, you know, but uh, in the end uh, I couldn't make it. So hopefully this year I can have a, another great run and maybe hold the trophy on Sunday. Played at a high altitude on the clay of Quito, acclimatizing to the conditions is never easy for both the new and returning players. But some can't wait for the physical test. Very uh, confident player in altitude, and I'm very happy that this tournament is in altitude. So it's one of the reasons I decided to come here and plan my schedule a few months before. Um, this is my first time in Quito, so very excited, and uh, hopefully I can have a, a good tournament. Not uh, not easy to to play, but uh, day by day I'm feeling better. I need to to practice to spend a lot of hours in the court. It's not easy. Sometimes the balls just fly. But uh, I think I, I came very early to get used to play in the high altitude, so uh, I think I can play well this week. Last year I, I made semi, so I hope to, to, to do better this week. I'm feeling very well. A former world number six, Ecuador's Nicola Lapenti, is thrilled to see the game of tennis making its mark on his country's capital city. The future looks bright. It's really sad that I didn't have the opportunity to play in my home country uh, in a 250 event. Uh, but I'm, I'm really happy that now uh, Ecuador and Quito has uh, an event like this, uh, not only for our players but also for the fans and for the kids coming up uh, to have the opportunity to, to watch uh, some of the best players in the world and uh, also for, for Ecuador to be in the map. The final in Quito saw defending champion Victor Estrella Burgos take on Thomas Bellucci. Their only previous meeting in an ATP World Tour main draw was at the semi-final stages of this same event last year. The first set was a keenly fought contest with just the one break of serve for Bellucci. And the Brazilian clinched the set in style. The second set proved just as tight, and midway through it, Estrella Burgos was finding the lines. In the face of adversity, the Dominican then saved a break point. A key moment, the defending champion was still in this final by the skin of his teeth. The second set went to a tie-break, and one mini-break was enough for the 35-year-old to take this to a decider. The Dominican Republic's most successful ever player made a name for himself in Quito last year, becoming the oldest first-time champion on the ATP World Tour. And he drew first blood in the final set. When Estrella Burgos clinched a second break in the seventh game, back-to-back -back titles in Ecuador were on the cards. 
He served out the match, and the 35-year-old was in disbelief, capturing his second career title. Both have come on the clay of Quito. And victory in South America pushes the Dominican closer to regaining a place in the world's top 50. Congratulations to Victor Estrella Burgos.